Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a past exam question on algebraic division. So let's take a look at the question. So question 1, f of x is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus c, where c is a constant, given that f of 1 is equal to 0, and in part a, find the value of c. So let's have a look at this question, back to the paper and pen. So we have f of x, so f of x... So looking back at the question, that being 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus c. And we've been given that f of 1 is 0. So what we're going to do is, let's find f of 1, equate to 0, and then we'll calculate the value of c. So in this case, f of 1 will be, if I replace the x's here by 1's, we're going to have 2 into x replaced by 1 cubed plus x replaced by 1 squared minus the 5 into x replaced by 1 plus c. And if I simplify further, f of 1 is 2 into 1 cubed being 2 plus 1 squared being 1 minus 5 into 1 is minus 5 plus c. And if I simplify further, 2 plus 1 is 3, minus 5 is minus 2 plus c. So this is f of 1 simplified to the maximum. Now, f of 1, we've given that it is equal to 0. So if we equate to 0, so since f of 1 is equal to 0, that implies minus 2 plus c is 0. So when I rearrange, C value is going to be 2. So that should be the answer to part A of this question. So let's go back to the screenshot. In part B, factorise f of x completely. So let me show you how this is done. So back to the paper and pen. So in part B, we need to factorise f of x. First things first, let's put the C value, which is 2, into f of x. So c is 2, when I replace in f of x, f of x will then be 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 2. So this is f of x with c being replaced. Now, if you're unaware, if you're not sure about factorising a polynomial completely, I have created a video explaining the process and I'll provide a link to this video in the description below. However, let me show you how the method works with this particular uh, question. So we have f of x with c being replaced and let me explain the method in a step-by-step -step format. So this is step number one. So S1 refers to step number one. Step number one is to take your factor of f of x. So if you've been given a factor of f of x, use the factor and then I'll show you how to use it when it comes to step number two. Now if we go back to one part a, since f of 1 is equal to 0, that implies that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x and this comes from the factor theorem. So let me make a note that since f of 1 is equal to 0, this means that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So this comes from the factor theorem. Now we are lucky in this question that we've been given a factor. Sometimes in some other questions you won't be given a factor. And if you're not given a factor, we can use the factor theorem in order to work out the factor of the polynomial. So remember the factor theorem, if f of a is equal to 0, therefore x minus a is a factor of your polynomial. And in order to work out the factor, if you haven't been given one, try values. So try values, and if you find a value such that f of that value is equal to 0, that means that x minus that value that you tried is a factor of your polynomial. So that's just an extra piece of information. 
So again, we were lucky here. We've been given the factor x minus one. This takes us to step number two. Now in step number two, we need to use algebraic division and we need to divide algebraically the polynomial by the factor. So it's imperative that you use a factor in step number one. So let me continue on the reverse. So let's divide algebraically f of x. So f of x is 2x cubed. Let's remind ourselves plus x squared minus 5x plus 2. So let's copy that down. So plus x squared minus 5x plus 2. And let's divide that algebraically by the factor and the factor is x minus 1. So let's divide algebraically by x minus 1. Now, if you're unsure about algebraic division, I have created a video explaining the method and I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. So be sure to check out that video which explains the method step by step. Let me briefly go through the method with this example though. So what I tend to do is I write the letters capital D, capital M and capital S in the corner and DMS means divide, multiply and subtract. So that is what DMS stands for. So this is the order of operations that we need to use in order to divide algebraically. And we first start with D, D is divide. So what, what I mean by divide is we need to divide the first term in your dividend. So here is your dividend. So we need to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So the first term of the dividend is 2x cubed. If I divide that by x, the first term of the divisor, 2x cubed divided by x is 2x squared. So whenever you divide, put the outcome on the top. That's going to be part of this term, which is the quotient. So let me remind you of the terminology. So this term is what we call the dividend. So dividend is this term here whereas this term the term that you're dividing by is the divisor the term on top is the quotient of division so let me recap so divides the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor that is how we got 2x squared that is what d means the next operation is, is multiply so multiply means multiply the quotient term that you have. So multiply the quotient term that you have by the divisor in its entirety. So when you multiply, so let's have a look. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And 2x squared times minus 1 is minus 2x squared. So when you multiply put the answers in the orders of the powers above. So the answers go here in the order of these powers above, power 3, power 2. So that's what M's about, multiply. Now what is subtract about? So let's go through subtract. Subtract means you only reverse, so only reverse the bottom two signs. So the sign here in the bottom is plus, let's reverse it to minus. The sign here is minus, let's reverse to plus. So that when you add the terms 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is nothing. And x squared plus 2x squared is 3x squared. So that is what subtract means. Reverse the signs of the bottom two terms and then add. Now ideally we need two terms here. So far we've got one term. To get two terms, what you need to do is go to the next term above and copy it down. So let's copy down the next term above, which is minus 5x. Once we've done that, once you have your two terms, repeat the process. 
So let's go back to divide. D means divide. So remember the idea of divide. Divide means you divide now the first term here and the first term here is 3x squared by the first term of your divisor. So 3x squared divided by x is 3x and we might write the 3x as part of the quotient. So remember whenever you divide the answers form part of the quotient. Next operation is multiply. Multiply means multiply that term that you have by the entire divisor. So let's multiply. 3x times x is 3x squared. So write your answers at the bottom. 3x times minus 1, minus 3x. So write your answers here in the order of the powers. So let's get ready for the next operation. Next operation is S subtract. So when you subtract, you only reverse the signs of the bottom two terms. So this plus, let's reverse to minus. This minus, let's reverse to plus. Now, when you add the terms, 3x squared minus 3x squared, these two terms are going to go. Minus 5x plus 3x is minus 2x. Now, that is what subtracts about. Now, again, ideally, you need two terms here. So far, we have one. So go to the next term above, copy that down. So copy down the plus two. Now let's repeat the process. So back to D, back to division. So now we divide the first term and the first term here is minus two X by the first term of the divisor. So minus two X divided by X is minus two. So that's gonna form your quotient. And with the minus two, you need to multiply. So the next operation is M multiply minus 2 times x minus 1 so minus 2 times x is minus 2x minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2 so let's get ready for the next operation next is subtract s and remember when you subtract you reverse the bottom two signs so that minus let's reverse it to a plus this plus for the bottom term, let's reverse to minus. And when you add the two terms, the remainder is going to be zero. So this is the remainder of division. Now, if you think about it, the remainder is going to be zero. And the reason for that is, remember, as part of the method, we're dividing by a factor. So the word factor means that the remainder is going to be zero upon division of that term. So that is a good double check. So the remainder as part of this method for factorizing completely must always be zero. And we, sh we can be reassured of that, that we're doing the question correctly as we have a zero remainder. So what is the next step? Next step is step number three. Now in step number three, there is a relation. There's a relation that relates the dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. So let me give you the relation. The relation is that the dividends, dividend meaning this term here, that is equal to the divisor, this term over here, multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. So this is the re relation, this is the relation that we need in order to factorize completely. So for step number three, let's use that relation and learn this relation. So the dividend, let's copy down this term, the polynomial. So that being two X cubed plus X squared minus five X plus two. That is equal to the divisor, that being X minus one, so X, minus one multiplied by the quotient quotient reads 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 so 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 and the remainder is zero 
So now what's left to be done, now what we need to do is we need to factorise this quadratic and if you factorise the quadratic we're going to have as a result 2x minus 1 and x plus 2. So if you factorise quadratically your quadratic these would be the two factors. So this is the idea of the process to factorise completely. Factorise completely, in other words, is to take your cubic polynomial and rewrite it as a product of three factors. And this is exactly what we did here. So once again, if you're unfamiliar with the method, I will provide a link to a video that I've done on this method in the description below. So that solves this particular part, part B. Let's go back to the question. So in part C, find the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x minus 3. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So in order to do this part, you can do this part in two ways. You can either use algebraic division and divide your polynomial by 2x minus 3 to work out the remainder or you can do it more quicker using the remainder theorem. So let me go through the remainder theorem. So here is the remainder theorem, here are the steps. We let f of x, f of x is the polynomial which is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 2 and we take that linear term, so in part c, let's go back to the question quickly, the linear term is 2x minus 3 back to the paper and pen. So we take that linear of 2x minus 3 and we equate it to 0 always. So that when I rearrange for x, x is 3 over 2. So let's call this step 1 of the remainder theorem. Step number 2, the second and last step. Step number 2 is to work out the remainder and I tend to use the letter capital R for the remainder. To work out the remainder, we need f of this value of x over here. So the value of x in step 1 is 3 over 2. We need to work out f of 3 over 2. So to work out f of 3 over 2, very straightforward. It's as simple as replacing the x's here in f of x by 3 over 2. So by doing that, we'll get 2 into x replaced by 3 over 2, don't forget the cubed, plus x replaced by 3 over 2, don't forget that power 2, minus the 5 into x, x replaced by 3 over 2, plus the 2 at the end. Now, if you calculate that, you should get an overall answer of 7 over 2, and 7 over 2 is the remainder, the remainder answer to part C. So, that completes that part, that completes part C, and that completes the question in its entirety. That also sadly ends this video, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related exercises and I hope to see you again. Thank you.